Adelstrop by Edward Thomas. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake. Yes, I remember Adelstrop, the name, because one afternoon of heat the express train drew up there unwantedly. It was late June. The steam hissed. Someone cleared his throat. No one left and no one came on the bare platform. What I saw was Adelstrop, only the name, and willows, willow-herb and grass, and meadows sweet and haycocks dry, no whit less still and lonely fair than the high cloudlets in the sky. And for that minute a blackbird sang close by, and round him, mistier, father and father, all the birds of Oxfordshire and Gloucestershire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Adlestrop by Edward Thomas. Read for LibriVox.org by Anthony Pasco. Yes, I remember Adlestrop, the name, because one afternoon of heat the express train drew up there unwantedly. It was late June. The steam hissed, someone cleared his throat, no one left and no one came on the bare platform. What I saw was Adlestrop, only the name. And willows, willow herb and grass and meadow sweet and haycocks dry, no whit less still and lonely fair than the high cloudlets in the sky. And for that minute a blackbird sang close by, and round him mistier, farther and farther, all the birds of Oxfordshire and Gloucestershire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Atlas Trop by Edward Thomas. Read for LibriVox.org by Dana Meilinger in September 2009. Yes, I remember Atlas Trop. The name. Because one afternoon of heat, the express train drew up there unwantedly. It was late June. The steam hissed. Someone cleared his throat. No one left and no one came on the bare platform. What I saw was Adelstrop, only the name, and willows, willow herb and grass, and meadow sweet, and haycocks dry, no whit less still and lonely fair than the high cloudlets in the sky. And for that minute a blackbird sang close by and round him, mistier, farther and farther, all the birds of Oxfordshire and Gloucestershire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Aldestrop by Edward Thomas. Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence. Yes, I remember Aldestrop. The name. Because one afternoon of heat... The express train pulled up there unwantedly. It was late June. The steam hissed. Someone cleared his throat. No one left, and no one came on the bare platform. What I saw was Aldestrop, only the name, and willows, willow herb, and grass, and meadow sweet, and haycocks dry. No whit less still and lonely fair than the high cloudlets in the sky. And for that minute a blackbird sang close by, and round him, mistier, farther and farther, all the birds of Oxfordshire and Gloucestershire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Adelstrop by Edward Thomas Read for LibriVox.org by Jess Meeklore. Yes, I remember Adelstrop, the name, because one afternoon of heat the express train drew up there unwantedly. It was late June. The steam hissed. Someone cleared his throat. No one left and no one came on the bare platform. What I saw was Adelstrop, only the name, and willows, willow herb, and grass, and meadow sweet, and haycocks dry, 
no whit less still and lonely fair than the high cloudlets in the sky. And for that minute a blackbird sang close by, and round him, mistier, farther and farther, all the birds of Oxfordshire and Gloucestershire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Edelstrop by Edward Thomas Read for LibriVox.org by Raven Notation Yes, I remember Edelstrop. The name, because one afternoon of heat the express train drew up there unwantedly. It was late June. The steam hissed. Someone cleared his throat. No one left, and no one came on the bare platform. What I saw was Edelstrop, only the name. And willows, willow herb and grass, and meadow sweet, and haycocks dry. No whit less still and lonely fair than the high cloudlets in the sky. And for that minute a blackbird sang close by, and round him, mistier, farther and farther, all the birds of Oxfordshire and Gloucestershire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Edelstrop by Edward Thomas Read for LibriVox.org by Trevor Porter a.k.a. Dugater, www.dugaterrecords.com Yes, I remember Edelstrop, the name, because, one afternoon, of heat the express train drew up there, unwantedly, it was late June. The steam hissed, someone cleared his throat, no one left and no one came. On the bare platform what I saw was Edelstrop, only the name. And willows, willow herb and grass, and meadows sweet, and haycocks dry, no whit less still and lonely fair than the high cloudlets in the sky. And for that minute a blackbird sang, close by and round him mistier, farther and farther all the birds of Oxfordshire and Gloucestershire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.